So as we are having our integrals, uh, sometimes we are going to notice that there is a need for us to use uh, the product to some identities as we have them from our trigonometry. So this is the part actually that we are going to be using when we are given those products uh, from our sign. Remember, uh, let us just say we've got uh, something like this where we're going to actually apply our product to some identities. These are used when given. Uh, so whenever we are given uh, the products, the products of uh, sine and cos. So this is used on sine and what? And cos. The part of sine and cos only, but with the different uh, coefficients, all right, with different uh, coefficients. So what am I trying to say when I'm referring to the coefficients uh, of a sine and a cos? Let us just take a closer look. Maybe we are given something like uh, the integral of the sine of 2x. And the other part is the cosine of 3x with respect to x. Or maybe we are given the cosine of uh, 4x. The other one, it is the sine. It can be cos to a cos. Again, it can also be a cos to a cos. It can be a sine to a sine as long these are different coefficients. This is 4x. And what about this one? This is 2x. They are different. Look at this one. We have got 2x and the other one is what is 3x. When we have got these typical questions, any of that nature, it can be a sine to a sine, a cos to a cos. But take note, guys, they are not raised to an exponent. So please be careful as we are checking your question. They are not raised to any exponent here. No, 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 no. It is just a linear sign, a linear cos. Different coefficients only. So these identities, you are given them in your formula sheet. In, your, in an exam, you have them in your formula sheet. So use them as they are. What you just need is to notice if there is a product, let's say a sign to a cos, you need to notice what is your A and what is your B. Then you substitute as they are, guys. This is our A, this is our B. The same part here, this is our A, this is our B. So the same thing, if you have a product of a cos and a sine, do the same way. If you have a product of what? If a sine and a cos, you can also interchange to start with cos the way that you want. If you want to interchange, you can interchange the way that you want, or you can maintain uh, the way that it is, A as it is, B as it is. So if you want to maintain your A as it is, your B as it is, uh, sometimes you might have negative angles at the end uh this is what i'm trying to say we might end up maybe we are trying to simplify we end up with a negative angle cos of minus 2x we end up with a negative angle sine of minus x we were simplifying a minus b then we got a negative we can even be simplified they can give us them or in exam they can give you negative angles it means on that case, you also end up with what? Negative angles. So you will be forced now to understand this principle of negative angles before we consider this part. So working with uh, negative angles is very, very important. All right. So what is it that we are supposed to consider when working with uh, negative angles? All right, as for negative angles, guys, do revise your mathematics N4, actually from maths N4, N3. You had this from your trigonometry, remember? When you're using those quadrants, we said negative angles are the ones that we take in the clockwise direction. That's where we've got negative angles. But in this principle, we are simply going to use the reduction formula, all right? Uh, so using the reduction formula, using a uh, reduction formula. Remember your reduction formula, guys, even from your grade 11, grade 12 mathematics, that the reduction formula 
when you're given a negative angle, let's focus off the fourth quadrant as we will be talking of what the acute angles, acute. So that angle is going to lie in the fourth quadrant as a negative angle. Where in the fourth quadrant, we understand from our cast concept in the fourth quadrant here, uh, in this fourth quadrant, cos is positive. The rest will be negative, meaning to say sine and what? Tan. But in this case, we're not going to talk of a tan because we're dealing with sine and what? Sine and cos. So it follows in this quadrant, sine is what? Negative. So therefore, for any negative angle that we have, you treat it as, a, as an acute angle. Every negative angle that you have treated it what? as an acute angle. So therefore, cos of any negative angle, any negative angle, you can say, is it negative x or negative theta, whatever that you have. Because it is an acute angle and it lies in the fourth quadrant, where cos is what? Where cos is positive, it will change to be a positive cos. Cos is positive there. If it is a negative sign of x like this, when you are given, uh, when it is a negative sign, what's going to happen? The quadrant that we are referring as a negative where sine is, it is what for cos? Sine there is what is negative. So it will change to, uh, it will have a negative sign of x like this. So this is what I'm trying to say. You are simplifying, guys. You are adding, you are subtracting whatever that you were uh, simplifying. Then you have got something like this, sine minus 5x. You want to avoid integrating a negative sign like this, you can change it to be, check this negative out, just like what we are seeing here. It will be negative sine x. So this one, it is the same from our negative angles. It is the same as negative sine of what? 5x. This is what I'm trying to say. But for a cos, a cos remains like that because in the fourth quadrant, cos is positive. So cos of minus 5x is the same as cos 5x. There you can write it like this. It is the same thing. It is the same thing. So this is what I'm trying to say, guys. All right. Anyways, uh, without wasting much time, guys, we just need to look into typical questions uh, like uh, what I just need us to have, uh, the basics. Then we work out as many questions as we can on individuals, uh, do many question papers, and also join membership for more uh, classes to come if you've got questions. Uh, pertaining your mathematics N5, that is the right thing for you to do to join membership so that you can have uh, more questions answered because on that platform, we have questions to be answered, questions to be done, a lot of questions, revisions there, and also you can uh, benefit the online classes as they are being done for those who are doing online classes. We bring those classes to the membership so that you can uh, have some of the concepts that are important in your revisions, in your syllabus. Not to say we offer classes for membership. I'm saying online classes that are being done by others. Some of those classes, I bring them to you so that you can have an idea of what is happening in your syllabus, in your revisions. So those are some of the benefits that you can have of being a member uh, of Medzone African Motives. So anyways, guys, without wasting much time, I'm just going to look into this example. Uh, the sine of 3x uh, times the cosine of uh, 2x as we are given these are linear, but being a product of a sine and a cos with the different coefficients. This is the major part. With the different coefficients, they are different. So what are we going to do if they are different like this? We are going to apply the identities Product to what? To sum. We are given a product here. We want to change it to a sum. So what is it that we have? You have to consider the trigonometry that you are given. It's a sine times a cos. Sine times a cos. So where do we have that concept where a sine multiplies a cos? Here it is sine times a cos. So we are supposed to figure out what is our A and what is our B from there. In our case, we're going to just take this one. We can, If you want to avoid 
working with the negatives, you want to avoid having these negatives. You can choose a bigger value. A is supposed to be a bigger value. So A is supposed to be greater than B. So in any case, that is, is not that way. You have to change, guys. Let's say uh, the course was having a bigger value. Let's say it was um, sine of uh, 2x. Let's say it was sine of 2x, cos 5x like this. And you see that if you use this one as your A and this one as your B, where you are going to have A minus B, what's going to happen? It will be 2x minus 5x. You get a negative. So you can avoid this by rearranging this to start with a cost. You can write as cost what? 5x times what? Sine 2x. It's still one and the same thing. We haven't changed anything. Remember, A times B is same as B times A. So rearranging inside of that integral so that our A is bigger than our B is not a problem at all. If you want to avoid what? A negative in your simplifications. That is up to you. But you can just work as it is, guys. As it is, you can just use your A like your B, even if there's a negative. But in our case, this one was fine because A is bigger than what? A is bigger than B. So we are going to simplify, guys. What is the corresponding identity where there's a sign and a cos? A sign and a cos, we're going to use uh, the first one, this part. So this is the identity that I'm going to have sign A cos B. So we saw that from this identity, uh, the sign of A, so we're just going to try to simplify it aside. Sign of A times the cos of B. This is our trigonometric identities, right? It is going to give us half of what? Uh, sine of A plus B. Sine of A plus B. Then we're going to have plus... Uh, sine again. So as we saw, it was sine to sine. So it was going to be sine of A minus B like this. All right. So this is the identity that we saw that we're going to use. So meaning to say in our case, in our case, we are going to have what? We are going to substitute this as sine. Uh, this is sine 5x. Uh, so sine 3x and what? Uh, 2x. Sine 3x cos 2x. So let's substitute in this identity. That's half of what? A plus B. Our A and B as we had to say this is our A and this is going to be what? Our B. So uh, from that concept, guys, what are we going to have if we let this to be our A and we let this to be our B? It means we are going to have the sign of what? A plus B. A plus B. 2x and 3x, this one, 3x and what? And 2x, you add them. So it's going to be 3x plus 2x plus the sine of what? A minus B. This, this is the part that you wanted to avoid a negative where you subtract. But like I said, you can even ignore that one. All right? So we need what? A minus B on this one. The difference. So A is 3x. What about our B? It is 2x. So that's 3x minus what? 2x like this. So this was going to give us half of what? If we add these two inside of the bracket, what are we going to have? Uh, 3 plus 2, that was going to give us 5x plus 3 minus 2, which is 1. So this is sine 1x. But sine 1x is same as what? It is same as sine x. This is where we are. This is where we are. So this had to be changed to a sum from a product, as we can see, it's now a sum, which can be integrated because we can see the, the, the standard integrals there. They are there. So this is equal to what? The integral of this. But there is a constant there, which is a half. So we can take it out of the integral. We integrate this part which is what? The sine of what? The sine of 5x plus the sine of x. With respect to x, this can be integrated. So that is the whole idea of this question, guys. This is the whole idea. You applied your identities. They have a row that they are going to be used. After that, you are back to your integration. This is where you are. 
you are back to the standard integrals. We have these ones, guys. What is the integral of a sine from our standard integrals? We do understand, guys, if we are integrating a sine, it will change to be a negative. The integral of uh, sine ax, if it is uh, sine ax with respect to, it's going to be negative cos of ax over what? Over a plus the constant of integration. So take note, this a is divided. So it's a five. We're going to divide by that five. So this was going to give us negative cos 5x over what? Over five. So this one is just a sign. It's just going to change to negative. So we're supposed to have like plus. Then we integrate this one. It's going to give us negative uh, cos of x over what? Over one. So take note, this is a one. So it's just going to be over one, guys. If we do over one, does it affect our question? No, it does not even affect our question. So let us just have our question answered, guys. So that is half of what? Uh, this is going to give us negative uh, cos 5x over 5, all right? A plus and a minus is a minus. So that's cos divided by 1. It's just going to be cos of x like this, all right? Plus the constant of integration. So this is what we are going to have. If you want, you can expand the brackets. As you can see, there's a half which is outside. Multiply in inside of the bracket. What are we going to have? So that is, you remember when multiplying a fraction, it's numerator to the numerator one times this, which is negative uh, cos 5x over 2 times 5, which is what? Which is a 10. You do the same thing, 1 times the cos. The, remember, this one is just the cos of x over 1. The one that we removed there is this one. It's over 1. So you multiply the numerator to the numerator. 1 times minus cos. Minus cos of what? Of x. Everything over what? 2 times 1, which is 2. Plus the constant of what? Integration. You are done. So these are the typical questions, guys, that you might be given where you are to use uh, these products. So I want you to work out as many questions as you can, just trying to apply this concept of which I have done like uh, question papers. So now go through question papers. I've done even those questions with uh, negative angles, only that for you guys, you wanted to know uh, the basic view of all the identities which are to be used whenever you are to use what? Uh, this whenever you're given a uh, product of sine and cos with different coefficients and also application of the negative angles. Make sure that you go through that. But for more questions, guys, make sure that you do join the membership so that if you have a question in mind, a question that you think that this one can benefit you in your revision or a specific part that you think is going to benefit you in your revision that you do not understand, that is the major part of joining membership so that you can ask that part wherever we've got time when I work on that specific section on its own or specific question that you have sent us. So this is it, guys, uh, till we meet again.